What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudor Leonte for Sherdot.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with USC light heavyweight fighter, Mr. Dustin Jacoby. Hello, sir. How are you today? Good, man. I'm great. Uh, looking forward to the fight next weekend. I'm actually in Vegas with my teammate, Cody Brundage, who is getting ready to weigh in and compete tomorrow. So uh, we got a couple of big weekends ahead of us. Of, I already actually I already spoke with uh, Brandage as well a few days ago. He told me that you are going to corner him, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, I'll be in his corner tomorrow night. We'll go get a big victory, and then we'll be off to New York to do the same next weekend. Yeah, he will be cornering you as well. That's very very nice to hear. How was your your training camp in general? I know that you two also train together. Yeah, we trained together. It was a great camp. You know, I, I love having Cody around and, and uh, we, we do a lot of great things at Factory X and, and uh, it's been a great camp, man. I'm looking forward to competing next Saturday night. You obviously feature a lot more of combat sport experience than your training partner. Uh, but at the same time, how does he help you improve your game? Yeah, Cody's a really strong wrestler, um, and he's come a long way with his stand-up, so we've really helped each other out. You know, I'm more of a stand-up fighter. He's more of a wrestler grappler, and we complement each other well. You know, our biggest uh, weaknesses are each other's strengths and vice versa, and, uh, you know, we, we just grind, man. We get, we get into the gym, we grind, and we just make each other better daily, and as the saying goes, iron sharpens iron, and, you know, that's what we do. You're far too modest by saying just, I'm just, you know, more of a striking guy. You <laughs> feature a lot of combat sport experience in kickboxing as well, uh, as well, other in boxing. So, um, you know, the, the last time we, we spoke about kickboxers finally getting some recognition in MMA, I cannot... I cannot ask you, you know, to comment uh, Alex Pereira's victory over Sean Strickland a few days ago. Yeah, I thought it was a great victory. It's exactly what I thought would happen. And uh, especially when Strickland tried standing with him like that, you know, he didn't use any MMA techniques whatsoever, uh, made it a kickboxing match. And Strickland's a, a weird guy, man. I, I, I He kind of grows on me. I, I don't mind him. He, he's kind of cringeworthy, but... Um, at the same time, his uh, his knowledge in that fight was not very good at all. And he was saying things like, I could stand and bang with any kickboxer in glory. Man, you just don't understand the levels uh, to kickboxing. And there's guys that I trained with in Holland that were, you know, am amateur fighters, amateur status fighters that in, in stand up and in the UFC, if it's just a stand up fight, would knock out. Uh, you know, I, several guys in the UFC, including in the top 10, it's just a different sport. It's a different, um, you know, there's different, uh, levels to the game and, and Pereira proved that against Strickland. And, um, yeah, I, I saw it going down like that. Um, in your, in your experience, when you transitioned from kickboxing to MMA, was it difficult to adjust to the fact that the gloves are so much smaller? And does it impact your strategy offensively and defensively? Yeah, the gloves competing in the two different size gloves is a big deal. You know, I actually like striking and kickboxing gloves better than 10 ounce boxing gloves. I feel like I can throw uh, a more and, and just hit more, use more of the glove to, to my uh, you know, to, to my, what am I saying? To my, um, I, I don't know, to, to, to my, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. I just use it to, to my advantage. There we go. Use the glove to my advantage to catch more of them. Um, and MMA gloves are smaller. So of course they're going to hurt a little bit more, but, uh, uh, it's definitely different competing in the two. And it, it, it took some time getting used to striking in the MMA gloves. Like I said, I enjoy striking. Even when I hit pads, I use boxing gloves and, uh, MMA gloves are definitely different. Um, are you a fan of the fact that MMA gloves are open and, you know, there are some very big issues about eye pocket? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what you're going to do about it. They've talked about, you know, curving the the kind of by the knuckle to where it keeps your finger down. But I feel like you're there's still going to be eye pokes. It's just what it is. I mean, it's part of the sport. I don't know. Um, maybe, I'm sure there's guys out there smarter than me that have been working on them. But uh, yeah, we'll see, man, if it, if it ever changes, it ever evolves. But 
um, it, it's just part of the game, I guess. It's unfortunate to say, but, you know, the, the eye pokes happen and, and uh, what can you do when you're using open finger gloves? Last one. And, 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 and with grab, yeah. And, and with grappling and wrestling, I mean, you have to have the open finger, you know, to, to really utilize yeah. all the moves. So I, I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. It, it's really a very, you know, crucial issue at the moment. And uh, both sides have their arguments. And of course you can grapple, grapple with, uh, I, I mean, I saw some, let's put it as a mix martial arts, very uh, custom rules, you know, when they try to grapple with uh, kickboxing gloves or, or with tenons gloves, and it was completely a different sport than MMA. Yeah, for sure. Uh, listen, last one, uh, kickboxing related. We also saw the performance of, of Israel Adesanya. Uh, he comes from a kickboxing background as well, but at, this, at the same time, he developed in a very complete MMA fighter. What do you think about his uh, development in general, his performance and his evolution? Yeah, I think he's done really great. You know, his evolution in MMA has been been really cool to watch. And I actually trained with a, a guy that was his UFC debut, Rob Wilkinson. Uh, he's fighting in the PFL uh, 205 tournament. He's ranked number one right now, fighting August 5th or 6th, I believe. Uh, but that was Adesanya's debut. And I watched that fight. And Rob's a very big guy. He fights at 205 now, but he fought uh, Izzy at 185. And uh, the wrestling pressure that he put on Izzy, I feel him in the training room. And the guy's an absolute beast. You know, when he gets on you, he's super strong, uh, super relentless. So I went back and watched that fight with him and Izzy. And he put that same strong pace, uh, relentless pace on Izzy, trying to take him down. And I know what that feels like. And Izzy was able to stuff the majority of his takedowns and wear him out. Uh, so that's really impressive. You know, it opened my eye to uh, how good Izzy's takedown defense is and uh, uh, how good of an MMA fighter he is, you know, when he gets in there. And, and uh, the evolution of, of his game has, you know, proved worthy. And, and he is the champ. And I'm really looking forward to that fight with Pereira, him and Pereira. And uh, it's an opportunity for him to right a couple wrongs and, an opportunity for the best striker in the world to go prove that, you know, he can be an MMA champion, which is just crazy to me that, uh, you know, everybody's road is different. I, I, I don't want to say he had an easy road, but to be able to go in and fight a guy like Sean Strickland at number four, who's just going to stand up with you. Um, yeah, really, really plays to his favor. And now, now he gets to fight for the world title when, when I do believe there's so many guys in that weight class that would fight him smarter and give him a much more difficult fight. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, the guy is, in my opinion, the best striker in the world. One of, for sure, if not the best striker in the world. And that fight's going to be awesome. A prediction for that fight? You know, I I don't know, man. Um, I, I really don't know because, like you said, the, the evolution of uh, Adesanya's game has been incredible. Um, I think it's definitely going to be a, a kickboxing match. I think it's going to be a stand-up affair. Um, you know, I can't say one way or the other. I, I, I respect both guys. You know, I've competed against Pereira, um, and a big fan of Adesanya. So, uh, it's going to be a great fight, man. Um, I, I don't predict that it, we're going to see a judge's scorecard. I'll tell you that. I'm really looking forward to watching it, but right now I'm also really looking forward to watch your upcoming fight with Down Young on July the 16th. Uh, how do you expect this fight to go down? Yeah, I think it's a very tough fight. I think uh, Jung is is an up and coming guy. I think the UFC is wanting to push him. You know, I'm I'm ranked 15 now. He's just below below me, so I'm defending my spot in the top 15. And um, you know, I I think that he's a durable guy. I think that he's got a lot of skills, and I think it's going to be a great fight. I just think that I'm a little bit better, and I'm going to prove that next Saturday night. Uh, of course, you your game evolved as well you made quite a transition from you know combat sports to mma in general but can we expect some uh, highly entertaining exchanges on the feet yeah absolutely you know I'm, I'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna do my best to take them out you know and, and the best way if anybody asks me how i'm gonna win a fight I, I tell them by knockout you know that's how i see the fight going um again he's very durable uh, I, I've been healthy this camp, you know, my, my legs are feeling great. My ankles are feeling great. Whereas last camp they weren't. Uh, so I plan on, you know, utilizing my kicks and, 
and uh, you know, chopping them down and, and, and just little by little beat, beating on them until that meter has nothing left. And, and I get my hands raised. Did those uh, leg injuries impacted your performance against uh, Mihal Oleschichuk? Yeah, they did. Certainly, man. I was only able to throw a couple kicks. I, I was worried. Uh, I had an issue with my left leg that if I hit uh, a certain spot, I, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to, to finish the fight. So I was trying not to throw, uh, throw the kicks that much. And, and, and I wasn't able to do any cardio for that fight. You know, about five weeks before that fight, uh, the first time ever in my career, I had contemplated pulling out of the fight. The injury was that bad. And I just pushed on. I felt that, uh, I, I would be good enough to, to get it done against him. And, and, uh, you know, thankfully I was, but, uh, it was not easy. He's a very tough opponent and, uh, it was another, uh, great challenge. I was able to pass and, and, uh, I think now being fully healthy and, and my cardio much better, I'm really looking forward to this showdown next Saturday night. It was a dominant performance. You ultimately, you took home a unanimous decision victory. So, Congrats on that as well. Um, I'm guessing your workout song is still running down a dream, right? Yeah, for sure, man. You know, it's something that I, I, I played uh, just when I got back into the UFC. It just really was vibing with me and, and I can't change it now, man. I feel like it's, it's part of the Han Yaks identity. So I got to keep it, keep it going. Well, the results, like I said the last time, the results are on your side. So whatever you are doing so far, you are doing very well. Uh, Dustin, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages? I know, man. Just want to thank you guys for the support. Uh, thank all my family, my friends, my fans, uh, my sponsors, El Bandito Yankee, uh, Fit Soda. Um, yeah, man, my, my uh, management team, Ir Iridium Sports Agency, those guys are great. My team at Factory X and uh, the work's been put in, man. I just got to go out there and compete next Saturday night and I'm excited for Cody to get his big uh, victory tomorrow as well. And, and then we'll just keep it rolling over there at Factory X. Hopefully it will go down the way you anticipated. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with the upcoming fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. I sure do appreciate it, man. You have a great day. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.